Welcome to Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1. This is one of two Rocket Lab launch sites for the Electron launch vehicle. It was built in 2016 and we can support up to 120 launches here per year. Launch Complex 1 is located on the stunning Mahia Peninsula on New Zealand's east coast. Limited air and marine traffic and a wide range of orbital inclinations from 39 degrees all the way up to sun synchronous make this the best spot in the world for launching more frequently than anywhere else on the planet. We're standing inside the vehicle hangar today at Launch Complex 1. This is the last stop for Electron before orbit. At the peak of launch operations, we have around 40 to 50 people here to support launch. The individual components of the Electron launch vehicle are assembled and tested at different facilities at Rocket Lab. That includes the 3D printed Rutherford engines, which come from our Huntington Beach facility, as well as some avionics components, which are then shipped down to our Auckland production complex, where they are inspected and sent out for final integrated testing. Once the engines complete their integrated testing, they're brought back to Auckland, where they're integrated into the launch vehicle stages themselves, and then those stages are shipped out to LC-1 for final test and assembly. We're inside the clean room at Launch Complex 1. This is where the satellite gets integrated to the payload plate, which is mounted on the kick stage, and then the payload gets put into the fairing in a process called encapsulation. In this clean room, this is the last time human hands will touch the satellites before the fairing opens up and they're deployed in space. Inside the clean room, we process the payloads and then perform final electrical and mechanical mate to our kick stage, which you see in front of me. During encapsulation, the payload is already mechanically and electrically mated to the kick stage. At that point, we break over the entire kick stage and payload assembly, we roll the fairing in from the doors, and then we precision roll the fairing over the top of the kick stage plus the payload. Then we perform a final mate and it's ready to be mounted to the launch vehicle itself. LC-1 has two clean rooms so we can dual process two payloads at the same time. Just outside of this clean room, we have a dedicated customer area so customers can sit and observe the payload integration process without being gowned up in this special clean facility. Welcome to the business end of Launch Complex One. This is Electron's launch platform and it's where all the action happens on launch day. 65 tons of steel go into this custom design launch mount and strong back. In the hours before liftoff, Electron has rolled out of the vehicle hangar horizontally, then the strong back secures onto the rocket and lifts it vertical, ready for launch. At about T minus three hours, we begin fueling operations to fill Electron with a highly refined kerosene and liquid oxygen for the Rutherford engines to burn through on their way to orbit. The focus tends to be on Electron at the moment of liftoff, but if you look closely, you'll see some clever ground systems at work too. Around 45 seconds before the Rutherford engines of the Electron Ignite, a water deluge system starts spraying hundreds of liters of water per minute at the base of the rocket. The water helps dampen the noise created by the roar of the rocket as it lifts off. So when you see the big cloud at the base of Electron during liftoff, that's actually just a big cloud of steam created when the heat from the engine flames meets the water from the deluge system. The last stop on today's tour is range control. On launch day, every seat behind me is filled with operators on console. Each operator on console here is monitoring the vehicle, the pad, and the payload to make sure that it's ready for launch. That means everything from weather and ground systems all the way through to propulsion and avionics systems on the launch vehicle itself. The final countdown comes from Mission Control in Auckland, but the team that's based here is closest to the action during liftoff. At just under three kilometers from the pad, the team here gets a pretty spectacular view from the window right over there. After a lot of months of hard work, it's a great way to celebrate with a front row view of the launch. In the coming months, you'll see us embark on our maiden launch from U.S. soil, launching from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 2 on Wallops Island, Virginia. Tailored specifically for government missions, LC-2 complements our launch availability, allowing even more frequency and flexibility for our U.S. government customers. We're incredibly proud to call Virginia, USA, Electron's home, and we can't wait for you to join us on our inaugural flight in early 2020.